hi 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 welcome to jamaican scorpio tarot thank you for tuning in guys i appreciate you being here enough respect much love fist bump there you go big up empresses emperors kings and queens you're all welcome in here tonight i'm doing all signs reading it's going to be brief for each sign because i want to cover all signs and we're going to be very specific with this one so what i'm going to be doing is giving you one card that will tell you how your person is feeling about you and one card to tell you if you should contact them or not so this is a matter of no contact video so with your person there should be no contact or minimal contact like if you don't know when they're gonna send a text or if they do send one it's so little words it's <laughs> right it's not meaningful so if you're having a no contact this video is for you for all signs we're going to start off with water signs which is pisces cancer and scorpio then we jump to fire signs aries leo and sagittarius jumping into earth following that and that's taurus virgo capricorn and then ear signs not the least but fall into the last place just for tonight we'll mix it up sometimes and we'll do aquarius gemini libra so welcome 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 give me a thumbs up please and subscribe to the channel i am pretty new as you guys can see and trying to get my subscriptions up build the channel and try to build a little family community on here so we're gonna get started as i said we're gonna remain specific for this video so this is a no contact one card to say how the person is feeling about you and one card to say should you contact or no and then if it's a yes, I will give you another card that will tell you when or the time span in which you should contact right away or in a week or in a month or, you know, give it some more time. So it's 10 o'clock on the dot. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock on the dot. And I like to start at 10. So we're right on time. Okay, great. So let's start. We're going to start off with Pisces. So if you're Pisces, is there a no contact going bet on between you and your person? I'm going to give you one card, one tarot card, Pisces, that will tell me how your person is feeling about you. Because if they're not feeling anything or thinking about you or so on, I, I would advise don't even waste your time and contact them because they you're off their mind. But if you're on their mind and you're thinking about them, both of you are thinking about each other then <laughs> there's a little possibility there but if the person moved on if he or she moved on leave it alone you're not you're not begging you know you, you don't beg you can do better uh we all deserve people who love us and uh there you go your yeah, one card came out so pisces let's see what this says for you what is your person feeling towards you Oh my gosh, the fool. They're in love with you. So now that I know that they're in love with you and they are thinking about you and in this case, they want to give it, it's like they have faith and hope. It's like they're waiting on you <laughs> to do something or to say something. You know how it goes, the runner, the chaser, and then sometimes they switch up, but sometimes the runner do not want to chase and waiting for the chaser to come. It's a whole rigmarole. Let us face it. Sometimes if you love someone and you're yearning for them and they love you back, just be the bigger person and make their first contact. Maybe they're just trembling and waiting, trembling and waiting for that call or that text. So let's see, since we know Pisces that yes, they are thinking about you, they're full in love with you, and they are waiting. That means they're having faith that um, there is something that's going to happen. Now, let's see if you should be the one that reach out and contact this person, okay? Angelic Cell, let Pisces know whether or not they need to be the one that reach out and contact their person, whether it's by text, email video call, whatever message, whatever contact method they want to use. Is it a yes or no? Should Pisces contact their person? Should Pisces contact? Ah, here it is. Yes, 
you got a yes. I'm excited for you. You got a yes. You got a yes. Straight up yes. Okay? So Pisces, go ahead, make that call or send that message or email or whatever was the most convenient method that you guys communicated with. The one that he's expecting or she's expecting you to contact them from. And I hope you're not blocked. But if you're not, you know, there's ways around being blocked anyway. So this is not a call. This is not a reading about whether you're blocked or unblocked. It's about whether you need to contact your person or not. And it's a yes for you. So go. Both sides. They're waiting anyway. And hoping and praying. Um, it's going to be very minimal for you, of you that if you reach out, then it's like a surprise for them. Like, you know, because, you know, there's exceptions. But for you, it's a go. So, Pisces, I'm happy for you. Moving on to Cancer. So, Cancer, is there a no contact for you or very minimal? And you want to know if you should reach out to your person. Give me a like. Subscribe to the cat channel, Cancer. And so for you to uh, Pisces, please subscribe. Okay. Well, let's find out. The first thing I'm going to do is pull one card for you, Cancer, that's going to say... How they're feeling about you because they, as I said if there's no feelings there they're not thinking about you you're not on their mind I won't even bother ah there you go oh this one have feelings two came out all right let's see what they are oh gosh Ooh, 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 ooh. lot is on all right a lot is on this person mind let's see if you're a part of that many things that's on their mind that's a seven of cups and whoa 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 yes domino effect domino effect domino effect rotted man nine of cups man the reason why a lot is on this person mind uh cancer it's because they have a lot of hope and dreams towards you. They see themselves building a family with you, being in a home with you, starting a family with just the whole nine. So let us hope that since there's no contact, it's a yes for you. And if not, just wait a little bit because you're on their mind a lot, 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 extremely lot, busy. You're busy on their mind, right? So I'm glad two came out to t confirm that for you. Because when I see that nine of cups, I know what was on the mind. You, sleepless nights, dreaming, daydreaming and dreaming, both of them. Oh, wow. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Let us get into that card, angelic self, for cancer. Should cancer reach out to their person because their person is thinking of them and have them on their mind? Give a definite answer, please, to cancer. Should they reach out and contact their person? Should cancer reach out and contact their person? Should cancer reach out and contact their person, angelic self? Ah, there it is. Ooh. Unfortunately, this says choose a new direction. And what that means is you may have to wait a little bit. Because you're thinking, even though the person have you on their mind and thinking of you a lot and want to make an offer, there is a little bit of stumbling block in the way. You may be thinking, oh my gosh, if I get back with this person... What are the challenges we're going to face? So it's not saying a no and it's not saying a yes. This is just saying, <laughs> you, 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 it's best you just wait, wait a little bit. Wait a little bit and see what comes up uh, for the future. If your anxiety is out of, <laughs> you know, work and, and can't wait, I would say give it a try. But then don't be surprised of the response. But... This one wants you to go in a new direction just because you would know why there's no contact to begin with, okay? Some contact, some no contact is just like minor things. You guys just disagree on something. There's just minor disagreements. There was an argument that both of you weren't in agreement and 
you know, but there, there's some that's serious, serious toxicity, serious things that's going on. You guys love each other real hard, but then you fight too hard and it's toxic. And then if it's time to contact the person again, there, there has to be a, a pause where some changes are made, something drastic. So I'm going to move on from you. Um, cancer. So for you, it's not a yes and it's not a no. Um, dig within yourself, use your um, gut feeling and what your mind is telling you to do on this one. Okay. We're moving on to Scorpio. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Ah, Scorpio, you're in the house. Please give me a like and subscribe. I am Scorpio myself, so geez, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know the best part of it, the worst part of it, the in between, the up, the down, the round and around, the circle back, and I know it all. So there you go. So Scorpio, I'm going to choose one card for you that will tell me what your person is thinking about you before we go into whether or not you should contact this person. So if it's a no contact or minimal communication going on, ah, uh, there you go, Scorpio. Thank you, angelic self. There you go. Scorpio, let's see what came out for you. Whoa, the star. Oh my gosh. Reconciliation is in the air for you here, Scorpio. Oh my gosh. So your person is still thinking about the brighter side of things when things were good between you guys. They're hoping for some change and some reconciliation and they're looking at what can be done. They're Right now they're thinking, okay, we can be grounded if we make a few changes. We can uh, be good with each other and be good for each other if some changes are made. But there is hope and uh, they're looking forward to mending fences right here. So that being the case, angel itself, tell me, should Scorpio, my amazing, beautiful Scorpios, <laughs> uh, there it is, contact. Yes, it's a definite yes. You got a yes, Scorpio. Go ahead and make that move. I'm going to put a disclaimer here. <laughs> I know how we are, Scorpios. We don't want to be chasers at all. We're too busy running to chase. So sometimes we just have to settle down, stop the running, draw your brakes, put the lock on those brakes, and think about it. You know that you can pull who you want to pull. You know that, oh my gosh, why should I chase this person when the next one is waiting you love this one. This one is the one that kind of got away and you're hoping for them to run after you. Bicycle pedal. Pedal the bicycle in your direction, but they're not really doing that because they're hard-headed. They're stubborn. Um, they want to make you sweat a little. But the fact that you love each other and this person is looking at you as the bright, shining light of their life. They're looking at you like they look at the stars in the sky, just shining bright, just with amusement and love and purity here. So since that's been the case, yes, give them a call, text, message, whatever you want to do, or hit them up, then hang up, maybe so it looks like you call them by mistake. Remember, this is not about whether you're blocked or unblocked. That's not the issue here. We'll talk about that in another video. This is about whether or not you should reach out and it's a yes. So Scorpio, congratulations. I hope you guys have a um, conversation that will be enlightening and that you guys can open up and be honest and just uh, be assertive, okay? Um, but no blaming game. When these contacts are made, the very first time, no blaming and who's wrong and who's wrong. Just have a little, just be lighthearted with these first open contact. No, oh, you did this and that is what, okay. I don't, yeah, don't do that, okay? Don't do that. I wouldn't advise that you do that. Okay. So let's move on. 
we have done uh, the water signs. We're going to jump into fire signs, starting with Aries. And I love Aries. So therefore, Aries, are you around? Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your presence here, Aries. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see which one I want to do for Aries. This one. All right. <sighs> Aries. Is there no contact with your person or very minimal communication and you want to find out if you should be the bigger guy or girl and make the first um, break that silence? Let's see. Angelic self. How is Aries person feeling about Aries? How is Aries person feeling about Aries? How is Aries? Oh. We love photo. The wheel is turning in your favor. That means they're always on you. You were always on my mind. Boy, you are always on my mind. Emperor, empresses, kings, and queens, make it happen. Let me see. But yes, this person um, is really, really thinking about you. Could be a Leo, could be a Scorpio, could be Aquarius, um, mm, could be a Taurus too. But let's see. Uh, a little bit of caution need to be taken here. Even though the real of fortune is turning in your favor, that means they're always thinking about you and they want things to change. They want um, you to circle back. They're waiting for you to circle back. Um, but a little caution has to be taken because, you know, sometimes a wheel. <laughs> Angel itself. Should Scorpio contact their person Scorpio as I say you're so busy running you don't even want to chase but this is not about chasing it's about love the hearts want so what the hearts want the heart is burning for you yep there's passion right here for you the person is feeling passion for you okay they're this wheel is they're manifesting their hell out of you <laughs> So they would have contact, but they're hoping you contact by doing their manifestation. So when you contact, it can't be that they're going to say, okay, that you call. No, no, you, you, you've been thinking, you've been praying, you've been waiting, you've been yearning, you've been wanting. Angel Excel, should Scorpio contact? <laughs> Why am I saying Scorpio? Listen, Aries, Aries, Aries. My apologies, and I'm not going to edit it or change it because, you know, the spirit gives what the spirit gives. I think it's an Aries you're dealing with. Uh, <laughs> that's why that keep coming out my mouth. Aries, you may be dealing with an Aries or an Scorpio. Aries and Scorpio. So that's why it came out that way. But don't worry, you know I'm reading for Aries. So Aries should... I'm like, Aries, should Scorpio contact you? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyway. Aries, should you contact your person? Let's get back down to business. Woo. Ah, there you go. No. No, Aries. No. As a matter of fact, this is not a no, it's a hell no. It's a heck no. It's a darn no. It's a hell no. Okay, there you go. Sorry about that. And that is why I say the wheel of fortune can be tricky, man. It can be tricky. It can be a little tricky. So, all right. You know what? I did say at the beginning of the video that if you guys got a yes, then I will tell you when. Who got a yes so far? I know Scorpio got a yes. So I should tell Scorpio when. Aries got a no. 
cancer got a kind of weight and Pisces got a yes. So let me go back a little bit. Give me a second, guys. I'm so sorry. Let me go back and get the answer for you, Pisces, if you're still around as to when. Because I did say if you get a yes, I'll tell you when to make the contact. So Pisces, when should Pisces make the contact? They did get a yes. When should Pisces make the contact? Pisces did get a yes. When should they make the contact? Pisces got a yes. When should Pisces make the contact? Pisces did get a yes. Pisces did get a yes. When? When should Pisces make the contact? There you go, Pisces. Take action right now. Take action right now. Scorpio. Scorpio got a yes. When should Scorpio make contact? Scorpio got a yes. When should Scorpio make contact? Scorpio got a yes. When should Scorpio make contact? Scorpio got a yes. When should Scorpio make contact? Scorpio got a yes. Oh, in the near future. So it's not it's not that long. So Come up with your game plan in the near future, Scorpio. So thank you. Thank you for being patient. Now I'm rolling it back to Leo. Leo, are you currently not in any contact with your person? You really, really want something to happen. Let us find out for you if, since there's no contact or minimal contact, should you go ahead and reach out? But before I tell you whether or not, let me see how your person feel about you. Because if your person is not thinking about you, don't have you on their mind, don't hear to hear from you, then you'd be wasting your time reaching out. So let's see how they feel about you first. And that is why I do my readings like this, because just pull in a card and say, yes, contact the person, and the person is like, hell no, what are you bothering me for? There you go. So let's see how they feel about you before you actually waste your time. Oh, the magician. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's a yes for you. That's a yes for you. They are thinking about you. And let me tell you exactly what they're thinking. They're thinking about passionate times. They're thinking about tr having a meaningful conversation with you. They're thinking about trying to balance their emotion with their thoughts. Because a lot is just going on and they're like, oh my gosh, you get emotional sometimes. And then they have, they're trying currently to balance their emotion with their thoughts. But they still have that passion for you. And they feel like, you know, you guys could have something that's grounded, okay? So, since they feel that way about you, let me see. Inch of Excel. For Leo. Should Leo contact their person? No, Leo. No. And some of the say, hell no. Sorry about that, Leo. So, just like with the Wheel of Fortune, the magician is a little tricky. Things come and go. <laughs> um, they think it, it can be very manipulative sometimes. So, maybe something happened in that relationship where it really needs a lot of repair and a lot to be done before and healing and all of that before any contact is made. So, it's a no for you, Leo. Sagittarius, give me a subscribe and a like, Leo and Aries, also Sagittarius, subscribe and like. Are you no longer in contact with your person, Sag, and you really, really want to know what to do, how to move forward? Well, let's go, Sagittarius. I want to pull a card for you to let you know how they feel about you before we determine, oh gosh. I don't like this one, Sag. It's a lot going on. It's too, oh, okay. It's too much going on, Sag. I don't like it. 
I don't like it and it hasn't even come out yet. Okay, the Hierophant. This person is healing. They're deep into they're they're deep into whatever they practice, whether they're religious or so on. They're deep into self self realization, self actualization, healing. Um, they are wow. They they think they could have something traditional with you. So you guys may have some deep rooted beliefs that are um, in uh, the traditional values, and they really think. This person wants something deep, family, the home, children, the whole nine, traditional family values. So hopefully you can reach out to them because this one, this person see you as someone they can learn from and they can teach you a thing or two. So it's a give and take when it comes to, they may even see you as a teacher you know, something one they can learn from. Um, they look up to you. They look up to you. They value you. They do value you. So is it a yes or no for Sagittarius to contact their person? Is it a yes or no? Is it a yes or no for Sagittarius to contact their person? Does Sagittarius contact their person? Should Sagittarius contact their person? Should Sagittarius contact their person angelic? I'm gonna continue. Oh, oh there you go. Woo! -wee. You got it too, um, Sagittarius. Choose a new direction. So whatever happened here, you guys are not ready. You guys are not ready. Maybe some more healing need to take place. Um, but whatever happened here, you guys are not ready yet. To move forward so but they think you are they are not having any negative thoughts about you at this time okay they're not having any negative thoughts about you at this time so Sagittarius give me a subscribe and like um let's move to the earth signs now and we're gonna start off with Taurus okay so Taurus I'm gonna go with this for you Taurus Taurus, are you having no contact and you want to know how your person feel about you? So, oh, too much, too much. Ooh, let me make sure I'm putting them back right. Because I don't like to put it. I always put them right side up. If they do come out in uh, reverse, I pay attention to it, but I don't deliberately shuffle in re reverses or read reverses like that. I'll just pay attention to it if it comes out that way. All right, okay. Ooh, two of fire, which is two of wands. Oh my, oh gosh, they're already planning a family with you, planning a vacation with you, planning spending time with you, planning having activities with you, planning going out with you, planning everything. They're thinking about partnering partnering up with you they they are just they're ahead of themselves they already figure that you guys are going to get back together they already it's like they're just planning on when it's going to happen it's more so when <laughs> but yes this is this is really good so let's see angel excel should taurus contact their person should Taurus contact their person? 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 Okay, there you go. Yes, Taurus. Yes. And as a matter of fact, you'll have a hard yes. You'll have a yes. <laughs> You have a hallelujah, yes. <laughs> you have a heck 
yes all right so i'm going to pull this for you when since you have a yes taurus when what timeline when should taurus reach out to make the contact when when should taurus make contact when should taurus make contact when is the appropriate time for taurus to contact their person when is the appropriate time for Taurus to contact their person and Jalisa? When? There you go. Within the next few months. So it's not right now. Within the next few months. So around Christmas time or so on. Before the new year um, comes in. Uh, I, would, I would never ever say wait. Uh, contact after the. Yeah. Yeah before the new year ring in because you don't want to ring in the new year with you guys apart if you should be together because see you're already planning a future they're planning a future so they're expecting it it's just that you may be the one holding up because i see what their position is they're planning they're planning partnering they're, they're you know they're forward um progressive with what they're thinking about you so it's you is a hold up here you because if you shouldn't contact them within a few months, with them thinking this deeply, it's you. The holdup is with you. So whatever is going on, it's up to you to figure that out. And yes, it's a go for you. And you have your timeline. All right. Taurus, give me a subscribe and a like, please. I appreciate it. So we're going to go with who now? Virgo? Virgo, your time. Virgo, we are going with this one. Virgo, you're no contact person. We're trying to figure out what they feel about you. So how does Virgo person feel about that? How does Virgo pe person feel about it? Oh, there you go. Ooh, three. Ooh, it's, a, it's a lot. It's more than three. But the chariot is on top. So that's forward movement, which is good. I'm going to ask Angel Excel to give me a more specific answer, okay? Give me a more specific answer for Virgo. Ah, oh, there you go. I'm gonna ask for a more specific answer. All right, let's pick this up. Oh, okay, there you go. Page of Wands, Young Love. Young Love, that is so agile and flexible and young and sweet and just just ready for the world ready for experiment and ready for having fun ready for uh going out and just 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 ready ready for passion ready for the world of everything that love has to offer young love they're thinking about renewing things in a just more youthful passionate uh way you know not no same old same old this is a uh, new New, new, new. <laughs> not same old, same old. So, since that's a good sign, let's see if you, Virgo, should contact your person. Should Virgo reach out and contact their person? Should Virgo contact their person? Should Virgo contact their Oh, yeah, there you go. Unlikely, unlikely, unlikely unlikely and unlikely is a no for me it's unlikely it's a no for me but unlikely can also mean to you oh, maybe i'm unsure but for me it would be a no so there's a situation there that is yet to be resolved but they are saying they don't want the same old same old so maybe it's the same old same old that's making it unlikely for you but they're saying they don't want the same old same old hopefully something happened to prove to you that that's the case because maybe that was said before and the same old same old was what you got so maybe it's a case where yeah i heard that before so let's move on virgo give me a subscribe and a like capricorn your time capricorn really did capricorn come closer let's see what we have for you I uh, this one here. Let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. 
Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, be patient. Yours is coming up. Capricorn, how does your person feel about you? Oh, oh, let's go with those. It's not too many. Maybe it need a little clarification what it's saying so I understand. So you have the, oh, oh, the four of coins, all right, and the ten of cups. Rotted, rotted. <laughs> it's like the other one that I read. Oh, rotted. This person wants to bring you stability, money. That means they want you're gonna be pretty settled. This person wants to bring have a family with you, a home with you. They want a um, strong foundation relationship so not know oh let's hook up and then apart they are thinking of settling down with you bringing family even a pet they even want to have a pet a dog dog a pet a dog they want to have a dog pet with you so you know funny enough the page the, the um the coins here the, the, the four of coins here. Usually, because the ten of cups clarified, but usually the page of coins is usually stingy because they, the, they have the money, but they're stingy with it. But so if it's you they want to build a family with and it's you they want to have that home and foundation with, they let, let loose because this person always have money on their mind. This person don't want to let go of the money. They're kind of tight with the money. Yeah, the the palm. Yeah, they're not greasing anybody palm easily. So you, I guess, you don't have to worry then about them spending the money outside the home <laughs> or giving it to anybody else or having no side piece that they spend on. But funny enough, Capricorn. Um, this is represented of you, of you, Capricorn. So you, this is a you. The, the four of coins is Capricorn. <laughs> That's a Capricorn. So it's a Capricorn. So maybe you're dealing with another Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're dealing with another Capricorn. But so let me see. They want a home with you. They want family. They want foundation. And they want to spend in the family that they create with you. That means they want to give you that monetary stability. But it's a no. It's a no. It's a no. It's a no for you, Capricorn, and I don't know why. Because with what they have, a, you know when someone thinks so strongly about someone and think of the future that they want with you, doesn't mean the feeling is reciprocated. That means you don't have to feel the same. They're feeling that way. Doesn't mean you feel the same. And sometimes you're so broken, or the things that happen, you just, it, it will take time to heal and get over it. Sometimes people come around and circle back after several year, years and if they both are free and single, they get back together because time heal and they figure that they have matured and learned from their mistake and grown and changed. And sometimes you guys can get back together in that point. But in this point in time, it is a no. For whatever reason, that is you know why. And that is why you guys are still apart, maybe because that's unsettling, all right? So I'm gonna move on to the air signs. So we're starting with Aquarius. Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe Aquarius. And I'm gonna start, give you this one Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. What is the person thinking about you? Aquarius, what does your person think about you? What does your person think about you, Aquarius? That's your person. All right, let's go again. What does your person think about you, Aquarius? Ah, how do they feel about you? All right, Aquarius. Let's see. All right, it's right here. Oh, you got the Hierophant too. So the same thing that I said earlier. 
with the Hierophant, they really look up to you. They think they can build something traditional with you, something respectable, something that will be comfortable. They kind of look to you as a teacher, or if you're not a teacher, they're some, somebody that, that they can learn from, get, share wisdom with, share information with, share a life with, um, built on traditional values, and they want a the whole nine. So let's see if it's a yes or a no for you, Capricorn. Should Capricorn hunt, sorry, Aquarius. Should Aquarius contact their person? Let me reset. Should Aquarius contact their person? Should Aquarius. Uh, we don't stop. And then two fall out here. I'm going to ask for a definite answer because too much fell out but this one came okay all right let's see should Aquarius contact it's it it's a no sorry Aquarius it's a no it's a no it's a no I can't change that it's a no and you know why you know why everybody know their situation everyone know their what they're going through you know better than anybody else so much of this that you're hearing, some of you is just like, okay, it's confirmation because that's how I feel. I wasn't going to contact. No way. <laughs> so Aquarius, sorry, it's a no. Gemini? Gemini. Gemini? I said Gemini. Gemini? Gemini. What is Gemini person feeling about them? How do they feel for you? All right, Gemini. How do they feel about you, Gemini? So you have the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, rotted, and the Five of Pentacles. Mm -mm. So here it is what it is. This king of rotted pentacles have it going on. So you're dealing with someone, um, Gemini, that it has substantial amount of, um, whether it's possessions or money or um, they're stable. They, they're good. They have enough um, when it comes, they, they don't want for anything, right? But how they feel towards you, like, mm, they don't think you have anything to offer or give. Because in this case, they are seeing themselves as the king of pentacles, not you. They see you as the five of pentacles and they are the king of pentacles. So they're thinking you are just there to beg for their money, to want their money. You don't have anything to offer. And you know more than anyone, Gemini, that you deserve stability and the possessions and the money and the, the comforts. And you, you deserve it. I'm not sure why in this case they're thinking you don't. That's sad. So, Gemini, considering that this person feel have ill will and ill feelings about you, I won't even pull a card to see if you should contact them. I would say leave them the hell alone until they're willing to share. Because what? You're in a relationship. What? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Me no big on sponge. So, if they're wanting you to be a bigger and sponge on the little bit. Maybe they see you as helpless and, you know, needy. Um, you know, unable to hold your own. So unfortunately, I won't even bother to waste my time and pull that for you. Last sign, Libra. Thank you for holding out, Libra. Please subscribe and give me a like. Libra, how does your person think about you? And then we move on. 
how does your feel and watch out for the next video guys because the next video i'm going to be doing all signs but individually and it's going to be for november videos for november okay or i'll see i think i'm doing individual for november right yeah so you guys get a little sneak peek of what's coming up for november so look out for the next video okay so you have the hangman here you have the hangman and you have the nine of pentacles which is beautiful but here's what this is saying how they're thinking about you they are trying to figure out they, they, their mind is now looking at what happened from a different perspective they are kind of reserved and not ready yet to express their feeling but they're trying to see things from a different perspective which means they might be looking at your perspective rather than how they saw it before so they're kind of taking time to reason within themselves and to um to do some self introspection and to reevaluate the situation that's what they're doing but they see you as the nine of pentacles which means it's a good outlook because they see you as someone who is secure someone who have your life together someone who have achieved things and um on your way to success or quite successful rather than on your way to it because now nah, yeah 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 you're successful already you know how to hold your own and um you're just loving yourself nurturing yourself caring for yourself doing for yourself just me time myself <laughs> all right you're like in the mode of me myself and i so i think based on him or her looking for if uh, things from a different perspective or trying to see your way of thinking and how you think about it i think it can be a possibility there so if that being the case i'll pull a card and and find out if angel itself would advise you to contact should libra go ahead and make 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 contact they're still in thinking phase so should leave or go ahead and contact ah there you go Woo! it's it's too pop out and i'm not going to show you them i want a definite answer i i'm please let me see oh okay let me just see ah mm. no but choose a different direction that came out with that so no no it's a no it's a no i think it's a no just from my perspective i think because they're still tearing up themselves over it and you know looking into it and thinking about it so it might be a fresh no contact in this case it might be a fresh one not one that's still and running out so because it's right they're still looking into things and looking and on what happened and how they could have handled it differently and just just have different viewpoint okay so that would be a no and it's come to the end of the readings for all the signs remember i looked at each of your person how you felt how, how they felt about you before figuring out if you should contact them or not only a few people should actually make contact so good luck with uh scorpio pisces who else got the go um who else got the go <laughs> whomever else got the go congratulations do take some action um don't sit and just wait you know because sometimes both of you feel great about each other and just waiting for the other to contact and if each other is waiting on each other to contact no one is breaking the silence and that's just how it goes but it's relationship issues that's it's a, about the power struggle it's about who contact first who is willing to be more humble who is the chase and the run all of that but when it comes to matter of the heart and love just let go and give it a try because you have the green light to go ahead so thank you for watching i appreciate you guys much love respect fist bump big up 
emperors, empresses, kings, and queens. This is um, Jamaican Scorpio Tarot, and I appreciate you being here. Please like and subscribe, and have yourself a good one. Check out my next videos and all the videos back.